Hey there, Scott Montgomery, the Landscape Networker, giving you a little walkthrough of a property that I maintain here in New Jersey, uh, specifically in the Califon, uh, Long Valley, Chester area. Just a slight walkthrough to show you some ideas and inspiration you might get. This was a, an area here where you could see these natural boulder walls um, that we created along the uh, stone face of the house. You could see here we added evergreen shrubs. We're in a very deer intense area here in New Jersey. Specifically down here a nicer mulch that smells a little bit on the on the nicer side is hemlock mulch here You can see we have these nice mature trees mixed in with the landscape Now here's a drainage solution if you're having a problem with erosion uh, Like this particular property had We essentially on either side here. We have a panel of lawn uh, Kentucky bluegrass, which actually needs to be mowed um, We've actually used some Delaware River rock all the way down, you can see the boulders were already mixed in with the landscape, and you can see it leads all the way down to the bottom. The particular client was having an issue with um, with erosion coming down and, and, and mud and dirt spilling into that detached garage down there on the bottom. You know, as you walk through here, we have a nice dogwood. Very, very peaceful environment. We're set on nine acres here. Beautiful, beautiful area. We have a monster weeping blue atlas cedar which was actually transplanted about five or six years ago from another location come through the back here Montgomery spruce you can see see here come up here a deer resistant perennial right here is, is a stilby now this is Rhine Rhineland is stilby you have some white this still be some more red. You can see we have some ferns mixed in in the back. Now we are in a deer intense area, but we have had success spraying these hydrangea. This year they're not going to flower. We had a terrible winter and they had a lot of damage, but we have some nice new growth. We added some hydrangea here in these pots, which we will eventually plant because they will outgrow the pot. But the client wanted their hydrangea, so... The alternative to not having flowers is getting a couple new ones and then later on transplanting them and putting them somewhere in the property in the fall. You can see here we have a mix of Coreopsis, which is just blooming yellow. We had bee balm, purple, which just bloomed. You can see the bees all over it. And look at that. Butterfly. So, in essence, we're in an area that's extremely deer intense, okay, and, you know, we're pretty limited as to what we can choose as another blue atlas cedar. Towards the back, we put in a couple Kwanzaa cherries. You have your, uh, your ornamental maiden grasses in the back. You can see we have a little lawn panel across the back as well that separates these two beds. We've added boulders in these beds above this retaining wall. And you can see around these boulders, we mixed in some Coreopsis, which is about to bloom, with some Spirea and Siberian Iris, which already bloomed. See the hoses out here. That's a little unsightly for the video, but basically, I'm, I'm just doing a walkthrough here, you know, so you can get some ideas and inspiration on your own property. You can see here a great addition to any landscape or patio or potted plants. You can see here we have some uh, some potentilla in the back, yellow bloom. We have some purple cone flower, which are about to come out in June and July. Nice peaceful, peaceful area to have dinner. Another lawn panel which leads down to the driveway. Have some boxwood against the house. Everything here is treated, fertilized. If you're looking for a landscaper to fertilize your trees, lawn, shrub. Uh, Land Design Network, Landscape Networker, I am fully licensed to do both. You can call 973-476-4863. And I'll come out and give you a free estimate on your property. With that said, have an awesome day. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all over, Landscape Networker. Have an awesome day.